Hey YouTube, i here and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today, we're looking at a new ship. This one is the Sojourner Mining and Defense Coalition Badger Class Cargo Ship. It's a sh relatively short range but somewhat faster, lightly defended cargo vessel for the SMDC. It carries a good amount of cargo and is designed to land on a platform so you could probably take it to a moon. It is not atmosphere capable. I'm going to show you the interior before the exterior. This ship is not an asymmetrical ship. One of the first things you'll notice is the oxygen farms are on the side. That is to maintain the size of the ship. And yes, you can. It's actually intended for you to grind off the car, the uh, landing gears, if need be. I'm going to show you the inside before the out. One airlock to get in and out of the ship, right here. I might remove that and replace it with a standard door because this area is actually not pressurized. Up front here, this here is the primary control center. Plenty of view, including up above, not below. You have the primary flight chair, and you have that, the control chair, which will control all aspects of the ship. And yes, this room is pressurized. I'll just keep that name. There we are. Yeah, I'll probably replace that. Now, coming back here, you have one of these good old airlocks. The crew is designed to be a small crew. It can handle a four-man crew, but it it's meant... You know, it can work with four people, but it can also just work with two. Two bunk beds, two cryo units, gravity generator, oxygen, plenty of oxygen. You have a coffee machine. You have an oven. This is dead tech, by the way. Um. Oop, no. Um, where is it? There it is. Dead tech. Missile coffee machine. Uh, I forgot the sink. I literally forgot one thing, it's the kitchen sink. I'll be putting that in at a later time. Um, yeah, well, there will be a kitchen sink in here. Somewhere. Actually, you know what? We don't need that many cry units. Well, yeah, we do. I'll have to move the gravity generator. Great, okay. There, kitchen sink. <laughs> I was actually thinking of putting the gravity generator back here anyways. Typical of me, I guess so. These cargo units are actually for the Ford turrets. It's a very, uh, very, very small internal ship. There you go. Nah, uh, I don't think that'll work. I'll put a catwalk over it. Bing, da, doom, and done. Okay. So, there we go. Yeah, there are some gyros hiding, top and bottom. That's eight gyros right there. You have two gyros there, two gyros there, and eight more there. That's 20 gyros. This is the primary cargo hold with nine car units. Obviously, we're walking on top of the beacon. Now, you notice there are some reactors in the ceiling. That's actually necessary, along with reactors in the floor. That's necessary because there's not actually enough reactor power. Actually, I'll have them walk on that. There isn't enough reactor power for them to uh, get the whole ship going because of the primary. Oops. <sighs> I suck at this. I'm terrible at this. Sorry. Yeah, there isn't enough reactor power to operate the entire ship as is. Reason is the primary thrusters. So, this here is the reactor room. This is the only cargo container leading to a set of conveyors for top and bottom reactors back there. None of this is pressurized, but that door seems important to have there, because if it not, you'd be in trouble. Yeah, you know me. I always remember some things before I start my videos. Like, I don't know. How about some lights? 
for the inside of the ship. Now there can't be a light in there, that's okay. But some lights would be a nice idea to have on occasion. There we go. That's much better. It's brighter. So you have the cargo unit and reactors there with all the gyros as well. There we go. Some lights in here. You have the entire living quarters in this section here. The airlock, which I'm going to replace the door right now, before I forget again. Oop. And we're going to change the color to green. There. Much better. I'm going to put a light there, but change the color back to my good gray. There we go. So all oxygen is here with oxygen storage. And on the other side of it is oxygen farms. And that's actually... What? Okay weird. Oh, I don't get it. How can that... What? So it's actually a bad idea to have that. Well, okay then. I guess I'm gonna have to come up with a new idea because now that's actually weird. <sighs> Typical. Typical. Try something different because it'll look better, and nope, it doesn't like you. Mm. There. Are. So, the main cockpit here. Now, what is the stats of the ship? Well, it's 1,081,000 kilograms, so it's kind of heavy. 240 megawatts from the reactors. Thrusters, 32. 20 gyros. Four landing gear, proximity, however. Radio 200 meters, volume 67 liter. Mass 150. Oh, that's not good. So the question is what does this ship look like on the outside? Well, the SMDC symbol is here with the oxygen generation. Ability. Right there. Right here is the living quarters. Hello. Just back a bit. You can see the cargo containers with the connectors there. Good amount of thrusters in all directions. Uh, there are s four for top and bottom, six for left and right. There, I believe, are six. Yes, there are six for the forward. For back, there are four standard thrusters, but, oh, by the way, that's going to be removed. But for the back, there are sage thrusters, two of them. It's two sage industrial thrusters. And, oh boy, do they pack a wallop. My typical red and green lights showing off, as usual. SMDC logo on the one side. Like I said, it's not very heavily defended. You have two turrets top. So, let's take a look at this thing flying forward and backwards. Oops. Let's take a look at this thing flying forward and backwards. Reverse thrust. It'll take it a little bit to get up to speed. You see the speed there? There's 10. Alright. It's instant to stop. Now, I believe it's Z for the damper. Yeah. So for Ford, well, we already have 14. Yeah, it's got some serious thrust going forward and backwards. Well, going forward rather, not really so forward backwards. Now, for strafing, well. not too bad for the strafing in either way going up 
Only four thrusters top and bottom means going up or down isn't necessarily easy. That's not really the point. The roll. And turning. It is designed, as I was hoping, to get it out of trouble. Now, if you want better control, this is what the controls do. Button 9, I believe, is one of the Vanagear cameras. Button 8 is another, I think. Well, let me take a look. Let's just take a look. Gear camera 2, or camera 1, it's looking to be a hell of a Gear camera 7 is top camera. Camera 6 is starboard. That's the right. Port is number five, four is rear, three is front. Let's show that. So nine, one of the gears in the back, gear eight in the front, seven is the top, six, I forgot already, is the right, five is the left, that's why there's a rock there, four is the rear, you can see the antenna, three is forward. This thing rotates so lovely. Number two is for your land gear. Number one is if you want some better control. You can disable those sage thrusters. Any time. If you want that little bit extra control, you can disable the sage thrusters. It's good. There's only four thrusters for the back that aren't sage thrusters, which is a good thing. So I believe it was a four, no, five. That work. Am I taking the station with me? I think it might be. No? Okay. Like I said, you're gonna have some decent control here. Just slowly bring it into dock. There we go. Now I can show off the cameras. Hopefully. Later. There we go. A bit better. Okay, there you can see it. Uh, right there. Alright. <laughs> Landing is gonna be a pain in the butt, but that's kind of yeah. It's supposed to be. There is a spotlight that you have probably seen on the top. This works finally. I like that one. The spotlight is disabled unless you need it. Like if you're approaching a dock or something, you can turn on the spotlight. So there you go. The SMDC Badger. You want fine control? You can have it. Highly maneuverable turns very well despite it weighing over a million kilograms you can get away with a crew of two but it can operate most efficiently with a crew of four a couple guys to run around doing things those sage thrusters uh, just you look up the SMDC's mod pack in order to uh, find all the mods used for this thing. And yeah, so the SMDC has a cargo ship now. Yeah, there's no jump drive, by the way. This isn't a heavy freighter. That comes next. That's I am absolutely stealing some names from uh, 
EVE Online, but only the names I really like. Like the Raven, I'm probably going to steal that as some sort of heavy battleship. Maybe, maybe. I have stolen the Badger as a sort of cargo hold, cargo ship. And there will be a Badger Mark II that will be like this, only bigger. But there will be a heavy-duty freighter, the Karen, later on. I am stealing a few names, but not so much the looks. I think some of the looks. But, yeah, come on. How does this look like? It? And then EVE Online uh, doesn't have complete internals like this does. It's it's interesting. So the badger. Ciao.